the Charger is exactly that. It's a fusion of the very best handling from vehicles all over the world. We actually matrix the best handling cars, Europeans, uh, some BMWs, Mercedes-Benz, Audis. We put that DNA in the vehicle, yet it's kept our soul. All this blows me away. Forty-four years ago, the very first Dodge Charger rolled off the assembly line, and in all those years, the Charger has often been more about style than substance. So let's take a new one for a ride, the 2011 model, and see if that's changed. They often say that first impressions are the most honest. So my first impression of this car is that it's big, it's solid, um, and it's powerful. Do you remember the days when 300 horsepower was almost in supercar territory? Well here I am in the base charger and it's just a few horsepower short of 300. And this is the entry level car. Amazing how far we've come. This we look really back at uh, what made Challengers great in the late 60s, early 70s. So what you see in this interior is uh, the 1971 Charger coming back to life with the asymmetrical cockpit, which was really, really cool back in those days. The bezel that you see here uh, is actually real aluminum. It's not plastic, it's not a film, it's real aluminum through all price classes. So even if you opt for the entry level model, you get this beautiful aluminum. I'm lucky enough to be with uh, Tom Volk of Driven Car Reviews, and I'm a big fan of yours, Tom, so it's thrilled to have you Thank as you a co-driver. First impression, what do you think of the Charger? Well, for a big car, it's pretty tight. It almost feels like a German vehicle. And the interior materials are, are great. One of the things I'm not exactly thrilled about in this car are the seats. I feel like I'm sitting on top of them instead of sinking down into them. And for a car with sporting aspirations, I think I'd like to have seats that hold me in place a little better. So what we're trying to do is, is get the monkey off our, our shoulder once and for all. You know, I, I want someone to drive, whether it's an Avenger, a Caravan, the new Durango, new Charger, I want them to be stunned. So are you stunned by the new Charger, built by Fiat-owned Chrysler? Well, are you? Roman Micah, reporting for TFLcar.com.